Okay, welcome to our introductory stats class, uh, either 2050 or 2070. Uh, so this is, I wanted to do this uh, video in order to show you a little bit of how we're going to interact with our, um, uh, with our course website. So we're going to be in My Open Math, and this is kind of how we start off. So up top is just some, just a general intro. Uh, class videos if you want to just look at the class basically YouTube site and then a syllabus uh, what's really important is going to be this calendar this calendar is going to let us know uh, basically when all of our uh, our assignments are due anything that, that that we need to have done by a certain period of time it's going this is what it's going to let us um, know when all right so some of these things you see have colors uh, generally, as the colors get closer and closer to red, it means that their due date is coming quicker and quicker. Green means you've got a little bit of time um, still to go. And then we also have uh, some uh, blue colored things. The blue colored are just labels. Uh, they're not necessarily anything that is popping up at all, uh, but uh, just kind of letting us know where we are. So this is week one, week two, week three, uh, etc. And then we also have some grayed out guys. So let's go ahead and click on we'll do Friday the 25th and I'll go ahead and click on it so some of these things are green if they're green it means that you can go ahead and do them if they are grayed out it means that we need to do some either assignment or watch some videos before we can actually go ahead and do that assignment so let me go ahead and show you what I mean so our class is going to be separated into four distinct sections so we've got in each of those sections I've labeled as a core so our first core that we're going to be dealing with is our data summary and probability. Right, so I'm going to open this up and each core composes is composed of about three sections. Okay, and at the end of each core there is an exam covering what's all in core one. Alright, so and let's go ahead and open up section one sampling and data. Alright, so when we open up a specific section, it's going to give us some learning objectives. It's going to tell us basically a summary of what we need to do, some textbook for reference only, um, the book Naked Statistics that we're reading, the chapters that we're going to need to cover during this section, and some additional articles that we're going to reference. Okay, so once we go see kind of the general outline, we see that we have these three sections. We have the section one material, the section one coursework, and then section one quiz. So let's go ahead and open up section one material. So within section one material, uh, we've got base the the most important things are these first two um, these first two blocks. So if we open up this reading assignment, it is going to say that hey we've got these two assignments that we need to do. One is due on the twenty third. Let's go up and look. Yep, we've got one reading assignment that's due on the twenty third, and for this one we also have a reading assignment that is due on the twenty fifth. Let's go ahead and open up one of these and see what it looks like. So if I click on this first assignment, it's going to open up and it just gives us two questions that we can go through. Um, and so here we go. The first one is just in statistics. Data does not tell the entire story. Rather, the data yield blank that can, that can ultimately lead to meaningful blank. So sometimes these are passages out of the book. Sometimes it asks you to make some connections from the book. Um, but they're pretty simple questions as long as you have gone through and read the book. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. And it's the same thing with, with this one as well. So uh, you need to go ahead and do your reading assignment so that we can keep up with the book. And let's go to our next one. So lecture videos are broken down by day. So how this class works is that in order for you to be able to go and do your coursework, let's just open it up right now. So the coursework is actually graded. This is our, you know, our homework or what the actual problems that we're going to be working through and graded on. In order for us to open up this, um, this assignment or this coursework for Wednesday, January 23rd, it says that I need to have, so this is, it's in, small letters but it says prerequisite is a hundred percent on basic vocab all right well let's scroll back up on tuesday these are the videos that we need to watch on tuesday once we have watched these videos on tuesday this basic vocab once we get a hundred percent on it 
we can then go down and work on our section one definitions and data. Okay, if we scroll up again, we notice that, hey, I can't even get into this basic vocab. Well, I need to get 100% on the types of data. And then for the types of data, I need to get 100% on the intro to, to statistics. Okay, so we have to start off with this first video, intro to statistics. So I click on it, and it has a video of me going through our lectures. So you go through the lectures, and it takes you basically to some questions. You need to get 100% on this. Once you get 100% on this quiz, uh, you can uh, go ahead and go forward on to, to the next part. Um, there are closed captions on those if you, if you uh, need those or if those help out at all. all right, so basically, once again, how this goes is the video lectures. You watch the video lectures, and then you're able to access your coursework. You can watch the video lectures, and then you go down and you are able to do your coursework. That is how this entire class is structured. And so I have it broken down basically by day of what you need to do. Now the nice thing with these videos is that you're able to, you can, you can open up My Open Math on a tablet, you can open it up on a phone, and you can basically do watch these videos wherever uh, you are so that you don't have to you know, sit down and do this all for, um, for an hour at one time. Um, but you can just do it in between classes, on the go, and get through your material. Okay, so once you get through the videos and the coursework and the reading assignments, uh, at the end of a section, there is a quiz. So we can go ahead and open up the quiz. And the quiz is open, um, but if I click on it, okay, it's going to give me a password. Uh, this will be provided to you on the day of the quiz so that you can go ahead and enter in and do the quiz. Okay, a um, couple other sections here. We've got video links. So the video lectures uh, are, if you actually just want to just see the videos, it can get annoying to have to, you know, it stops you and whatnot. So if you want to just do the video links, you can go into the video links and just quickly grab any of these videos and watch them. You can watch them here in the playlist. So if we just hit play here, uh, we could watch this video and we can move on our way down the list. Um, at the very bottom of this material, there's extra class material. So sometimes in class, uh, if I'm doing a demonstration before we get started, uh, you will go through and, you know, I'll post my data sets here, or maybe if I have an extra video, uh, I'll post it here in the extra class material. All right, so that's basically how a section goes. We work all the way through our material, get through our quiz, and then once we get through our quiz, we're able to get through to our next, oops, sorry, our next section, and it's the same format. We get our outline, we get our material, we have our reading assignments and our lectures, we've got our coursework, we've got our quizzes, and we keep on going down. All right, so once we've gotten through our third one, we have an examination. So this is going to be a basically a one hour in class exam. Uh, and we'll go over the specifics of this, but it, just like the quiz, there will be a password in order to get into it. And, uh, and I think if you open this right now, it's not even there. It doesn't pop up until uh, the, the day that we're actually going to take the, the exam. A uh, nice thing is that the quizzes are, are supposed to be able to help you, kind of prep you to know what are the types of questions and things that you're going to see on the examination so that you can be ready for, um, for that exam. Okay, so that's basically the same as we go into our next course. However, there is one new thing. So at the end of core two and at the end of core four, there is a critical analysis paper. And what this is, is so throughout the, uh, the course, I post links to different articles and podcasts. And at the end of every two cores, I want to take, uh, want you to take some time and write a paper on basically connecting some of the ideas to, uh, that, that you read in the article to what we've actually been learning in class and seeing if you can make some of these connections and basically relate the material that we've learned in class to the real world. Uh, so that is basically how we interact with uh, with our uh, My Open Math course website. Uh, we can also go look at the gradebook, and if so, 
I don't have a valid student ID, but there would be a great book here that you could see um, your grades. And a uh, nice thing about being all online is that basically your grades are up to date, um, except for the little bit of, um, of manual grading that, that I have to do. Uh, so anyhow, I am excited to get started on this, um, on this class with you all. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help out. Have a good one.